ain't no way we're on a first date and you think I'm supposed to take care of the tip? What? I can't fix a hurt man. Can't do it. Won't do it, actually. I probably can do it. I won't. I've tried to fix too many men in my life. Not going for it. Hi y'all, good morning. We are on our way to the gym. I try at least once a week to go to a gym, an actual gym with like people, like instructors and stuff, cause I don't be knowing what I'm doing. Me, Leah, and Imani, go follow my girls on YouTube, period. Um, we go to this gym it's all the way in freaking Peachtree corners and um yeah they just have like a group workout class basically on my way there now it's 8 38 the class starts at 9 so yeah welcome to my channel if you're new here girl don't forget to subscribe button down below hit that bell button right next to it so if I'm gonna upload all my videos and of course go and follow me on all my social media girl at jimip underscore y'all know below on Instagram Twitter and TikTok make sure you go follow me on there I'm on this 400 and y'all know this 400 is real rag I will see y'all once I get there. You can't get this thing just out of your mind. I heard it when she went in the back of the aisle. That's the vibe though, right? Yeah, I like this. It's giving business. It's giving, welcome to my apartment tour. But if it's short This is a two bedroom, two bathroom. Sandy Springs, Sandy Springs. Hey bro, sexy at the bottom and then you sprazzle dazzle it up. Well, how else do you wear a skirt? I wouldn't wear that type of skirt. I think it's cute. Thank you. y'all we are done with our workout we were in the goodwill but um we didn't get anything so it doesn't matter and i got me a uh protein smoothie i know i needed a protein smoothie to fill me up and better to have after a workout so i got the big bang and it has strawberry banana and we way we wheat I don't know. Since I'm on this side of town, I decided I was gonna go. I decided I was gonna go to some apartments and tour some apartments. Um, I don't normally come like in this area. I figured since we are out here, we might as well. The best thing about the update for the iPhone, I have sets. All my stuff is set. So you click the screen. This is my normal screen. Like when I don't have no like do not disturbs on or any like I'm not working, reading, whatever, whatever, like studying my Bible. This is my, I think this is my work screen. Basically, only thing that comes through are like my emails and stuff like that. And if my mom calls, that will come through. Sleep mode. So when I go to sleep, this is the screen that will show and nobody can get through. <laughs> no emails, no phone calls, no nothing. This one is my driving mode you see it's the car i got the porsche in honor of mimi getting her porsche so that comes on when i'm driving this is my fitness mode nothing can come through when i'm working out either um and this is my reading mode this one nothing can come through reading is when i'm reading my books or when i'm doing my bible study listening to a sermon anything of that nature like if i'm reading yeah nothing can come through that's it but you can add as many screens as you want i don't know if y'all know this or not but yeah, I love it. And I have it scheduled. So, like, it'll come on. At 11, work mode is going to come on. Fitness comes on every morning at, like, 9 o'clock. Oh, and then sleep mode comes on every night at 11.15 because by 12 o'clock, I'm in the bed. Sometimes I'll be like, dang, ain't nobody texting me while I'm working. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, my work mode is on. I got hella messages, but I appreciate that because I don't need no distractions when I'm working because I can get distracted, okay? I can't multitask for nothing. My backseat looks insane because of that dog. We are at the first one, Spalding View. Waiting for her to get the golf cart. That's what they look like. And off of the street, up there. So yeah, I think the one that we are about to tour is 1300. Um, it's 
a one bedroom. Okay, so I am leaving this one, Spalding View. Um, I like them, like in general, um, but I just think that, and it's in a nice area, like Norcross period is like a nice area, but I just feel like 1300 is like really expensive. <laughs> like especially like right now and it doesn't have a washer and dryer or the connection it has the um laundromat like inside the building i just think that's like like babe y'all should be like 1100 it's not like 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 brookhaven or north Druid hills where they'll charge like 1300 for no washer and dryer but like you're really close to the city but you know in norcross you're in a really good area it's quiet you don't have to worry about like no drama no noise no issues but yeah that was that one if you want to see the full apartment tour um you can go on my tiktok um to see all of it good morning we are not done with work but close enough um i just got off the phone with a client listen it's friday i love the weekends with that being said let me get back to work happy friday <laughs> okay so we're getting ready to get dressed the girls pushed back the time to shoot content today till three it was at one but girl i don't know who they was fooling anyway the vibe that we're going for is cash chic. That's my new style, okay? We have our talented stylist here by the name of Mimi. <laughs> say, what you want me to say? Yo, Instagram? What are you doing? Re, re yes. How you want me to say it? Okay. <laughs> So today we have our talented stylist here. They don't call her, wait, wait. Her name isn't dope for, wait. <laughs> her name, her name, her, her name. <laughs> so you want me to say her name ain't dope for no reason? Oh, all right, all right, okay, wait. Okay, wait, say it again. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Today we have our talented stylist here to help. Her name ain't dope like Mimi for no reason. Everybody want to be dope like Mimi, okay? Oh, you want me to put it like in the after? Okay, I'll put clapping, put clapping hands right here. Okay, bitch, you pushing it. I have these white wide leg kind of pants. My pink top that I had for my birthday. I have a few pink jackets. First of all, I feel like it's too springy. And Mimi says she doesn't like the fabric of the jacket with it, so no. Okay, y'all, I have this outfit, right? And I know it's like kind of weird looking, but I like it. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do kind of the vibe honey my body still hurts from working out i like this mimi wanted me to put on a black mimi wanted me to put on a black shirt underneath of it instead of the white one it like just it's boring now like i feel like it's not it doesn't have any oomph to it like, yeah, it's cute, but it's like, of course it's cute. It's a black and brown, you know? Like, it's just too, bo it's, I just feel like it's, it's a bit boring. No, for real, if it's butt ugly, okay. But if you just feel like it's just off, then okay. I'll, I'll wear it if it's off, but if it's butt ugly, like if you were seeing, like what the fuck? Or you would see it and be like, okay. They're calling me to the stage, y'all. <laughs> They're calling me to the stage. Um. <laughs> to the right, a little bit. A little bit to the right. Put it down. Like I got that way. Yeah, it's cool though. More? That's good. That's good. You walking? Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Oh, wait, wait. 
outfit. Sing lovey dovey. This is that fake laugh. No, listen, listen. We're in a relationship. Stop holding my hand. <laughs> Okay, you guys. Oh, pictures are done. We are getting ready to go get some food. food. We. I thought I wasn't recording. I. It felt like something. Leo wants to go to Gypsy Kip, Gypsy Kitchen per usual, and the mortgage is trying out this new place called Sebastian's. Good morning, everybody. Hey. Can you, are you in it? Okay. This is the hard part. After all of this great content, now we have to find somewhere to eat. Why does it feel like you can never find somewhere to eat? Because we can. You think because you have so many places to choose from here in Atlanta that it would just be so easy. What was the place we just said that has $6 wine? Okay, we finally come up with a place to go to. It only took us 45 minutes. Why well, I'm the only one vlogging? Yeah, I gave up. How did you get better on that? Y'all not even TikTok vlogging. I'm confused. Um, what if, what if, what about you, babe? Yeah, I got, I got us on the walk-in. I got us walking up. So I'm going to get the video from Leah. Yes, yes. Uh, what, uh, Imani? I'll get it tonight at what thing? At what thing? At wherever we go. She, <laughs> she don't even know where we going. Yeah. So she's going. All right, come on, y'all. Why is everything such a vibe? Area, Area of refuge. refuge. What does that mean? This is so cute, this mirror. I'm getting sexy. Oh, you're taking us down. Hi, you guys. Hello, Fabio. like a monkey and call me a deer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leah. <laughs> what? what? I lost my grip <laughs> when you said that. They lied, lied to us. us. They lied to us and said that um, we saw on the website that the happy hour is from what? Five, five to eight. eight. We get in there. She said the happy hour over at five. Honey, happy hour is it's Friday at so that. We, we not happy. We ain't happy. So we go to Dantana's because Dantana's never fails us. to eat the lychee on from the lychee martini are you gonna bite it ew it's like a ball what it tastes like camera on 56% as if I haven't been charging y'all for the past two days. Hi you guys, I'm back in the house. I just got back in from church actually. Um, amazing service today. I am getting ready to go out on a date. I know, you know how they say you gotta be patient for the things that you want. If I wanted to just be out here just to say that I'm dating, just to date, like just so I can say like, okay, I got this, 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 this man. Baby, that could have been done. But you wait for the things you really want. We are going to like this little like sports bar -y type of thing. Now, I'm not going to judge him for that. It's okay. I'm going to let him have it. Um, I'm going to ask him though, like, why you choose this place? And we'll see. I feel like he chose it because I like football and, um, they have hookah uh but that's just me thinking that men have the capacity to think outside of their selves i don't know i went on a date with this one guy i had met um and 
it went okay right i'm doing my nails by the way it went well right like we had a good time but overall like he definitely was was not the guy for me honey bun um i had asked him a question about like basically like if we were to get married and like something happened to me like would you take care of my dog as if he was like your own like your child because he's my child and the man should have said no he said no your dog can go with your mama i'm like if something if we're married and you know that my dog has been with me since for the past seven years and we're married you're not gonna take my dog and he said no dogs are animals they're not family i said oh no <laughs> oh hell no nah. girl i had to that was it for that that was a wrap honey it was some other like smaller red flags he kind of was like you know you take care of the tip and i'll pay which listen i don't have a problem with doing that with my man ain't no way we're on a first date and you think i'm supposed to take care of the tip what we went to a cigar lounge which i liked because he was opening my palate they played jazz they had cigars it was really nice but we were standing up and i had on heels and i kind of made a joke out of it and i was like um you're gonna have to let me know for stuff like this if we're gonna be standing because i won't like i'm glad i wore my comfortable heels but you know if i didn't my feet would have been hurting and he said well you know you should probably keep some flats in your car some flats you want me to keep flats in my car first of all flats don't go in my outfit second of all we're on a date how about you make sure we have a seat when we come in here like what not even wasn't even a section y'all just to secure a table you just had to put a reservation down it wasn't even like nothing od and i drove so i drove to because we went to five church and i chose I, I drove to five church um he lives close so he didn't drive he just like walked over and um when we were on our way to the second place because i drove he just rode with me and i just that was a little ick i'm extremely picky though that's so like but like still like let me know what y'all think so then um one day after church i went to the bar um my same bar that i met the other guy at i frequent um i didn't go there for anybody i went there because the ravens were playing the last game before the playoffs and i wanted to see i wanted to like they were going to the playoffs anyway so i was but i wanted to see the game i love the ravens the falcons would suck this year so i couldn't see them so i was just gonna go see the ravens and long story short i get there or whatever minding my good old business and this guy comes up to where i was i was like at the bar but like the seats behind the bar he comes up to me or whatever and he's like um is anybody sitting here i said oh no you're good blah, blah blah and i'm deep into the game like it's like second quarter we down a couple points so he starts talking to me and i'm kind of just like oh okay fine 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 i'll entertain he was cute you know he fit the vibe it was real nice or whatever but i was really just trying to watch the game somehow some way we got on the topic of my date that i had was went on the night before all right y'all sorry camera died but nails are done i don't know anyway so me and him kind of started getting into it or whatever at the bar not getting into it it was like a conversation and he was basically telling me that my standards were too high and he was like i'm he's like i don't want to sound like the cliche but what are you bringing to the table bitch see and that's the problem right there if you feel like you gotta ask me what i'm bringing to no man is finna ask no well like if like no i don't care what nobody say a man that is like a man he's not coming saying well what are you bringing to the table uh, ma'am i just need you here in my life and so then we started getting into basically him saying like well those type of men are controlling they're gonna want you to like cook and clean and i'm like okay he was trying to make a point because apparently like uh, somebody that he had previously dated he was the quote-unquote like person that was like taking care of the household paying the bills and he would come home and the, there would be no food in the house the, the house would be a mess this this that and the third and i'm like it sounds like you're hurt it sounds like that's from a previous experience that you had and that don't have nothing to do with me i just don't think how i don't see how he thought that was logical like well, you know you're gonna have to keep the house clean i gotta keep my own motherfucking house clean and then he tried to say oh well you're one in a million no i'm not no i'm not i know so many women that 
are like caretakers that take care of like their home that would like if their man is paying the bills they don't mind cooking and like cleaning and you know being a girlfriend or being a human being like i don't know he was projecting mm, he low-key said that i need to lower my stand no not low-key he high key said i need to lower my standards because you don't want to quote unquote you don't want to be the one of those 40 year old women that are lonely and single because their standards were too high girl he did end up paying for my meal though he left he got up um and he left and he took care of the bill like i be trying to tell people like you don't have to change people outlook on things like if, if you like fucking tomatoes i'm not going to sit here and tell you that grapes are better like you like tomatoes babe enjoy your tomatoes i don't like tomatoes though so you go ahead to your cherry picking tomato crop field i'm gonna go over here to the grape field i, I couldn't even watch my damn game after we finished talking the game was on the fourth fucking quarter i missed the whole game fuck around with him i can't fix a hurt man can't do it won't do it actually i probably can do it i won't i've tried to fix too many men in my life not going for it putting on mascara i'm about to do a little curl in my hair real quick and then we are gonna be on our way out the door all right i try to keep it simple y'all because we're just going to a sports bar so i got on some brown heels my black leggings my go-to leggings and brown shirt it's giving brown sugar okay let's go hey y'all ew that was so fake <laughs> hey y'all i just got finished working <laughs> in the background i just finished a video um it's gonna go up next week i'm trying to get on a like a new schedule since we aren't doing like a story time sunday i'm trying to figure out what schedule works best for me but i'm thinking like tuesdays and thursdays another one of the goals was finishing a book a week now listen did i finish a book a week no it took me like two weeks three if I'm being honest, to finish this book. And it's only because I was very inconsistent within the first week and a half. I finished! I finished my first book of the year. A win is a win. This book was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I feel like it was enough mixture of like bt after dark but also disney channel you know what i mean like it was like that really romantic like cinderella love story but they also talked about beyonce had a little nice little little sprinkle of a sex scene and you know kept it like pg but like pg 18. i'm about to go get a book now from the library and i want y'all to join along with me okay we're gonna start a book club so we're gonna read these books together i just did my research on tiktok okay to figure out which books to get um i like to have at least one two or three options because you know you never want to go to the library and then you're like ah, i can't find another one so now you're sitting on tiktok trying to find another one while you're in the library no so yeah let's go to the library it's 5 14 okay and we're a little behind i hope they are gonna close on me i'm gonna be so sad that says are you vaccinated that's a bit direct don't you think Somebody's checking it out already. Oh, it's not available at this branch. I bet it's not. Y'all, y'all are terrible people. <sighs> the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, uh, their reunion is on. Listen, I I love them. I know Salt Lake City is kind of like more of the, like if you would put all of them together, Salt Lake City is kind of like the bottom. Like all the other ones are like pretty like giving. Um, but I thoroughly enjoy Salt Lake City because those girls are like old school Real Housewives in New York City. They be drunk off they asses, y'all. They be drunk. And they just be coming for each other. Like, it's so crazy. Like, they don't care about nothing. But yeah, I just got the shower. And I wanted to share with y'all some goodies that my one of my subscribers sent me. And I thought that was so nice. Like, it makes my heart melt. Like, y'all ain't got to be all nice like that. Like, dang, y'all want a bitch to cry? The first thing that I've been using literally since she sent it to me 
is um her body butter is eternity oatmeal and honey and it smells so good and i put it on every night this is like my go-to now it's so crazy because i literally been wanting some body butters and so when she was sitting i was like dang how was you reading my my mind but it's so nice it's so smooth it's lightweight too like it's like a mixture of like light and medium coverage but it's not like heavy at all um so i like that and it just smells so good um and the brand name is tori infinity organics it has shea butter organic cocoa cocoa i think cocoa butter Ho I never know how to say this word. Jo jo jojoba oil? I know it's not jojoba, but like, what is it? Jojoba? I forgot how you say it. I don't know. Argan oil, road ship oil, and essential oils. I love this one. This oatmeal and honey. She sent me this infinity necklace. It's so freaking cute. I love this. I feel like we sisters for life now. Um, another, She also sent me another body butter. This is the Limitless Turmeric Orange and Honey Body Butter. Oh, this is so cute. She sent me some stickers. I love that. I love this so much. All right, and then last but not least, she sent me, I believe this is the soap, and this is the same as the body butter. Um, you ever want to smell good, make sure your body butters and your, like, your body soaps smell the same. You come out the shower literally smelling like a goddess. And then you put that on, that, oh, that layer over top of it. Don't forget your oil too. Girl, just get you like a non-scented oil, like, it don't even matter what it is. Put that oil over top of it, honey. Your thing gonna be so smooth and you're gonna be smelling so good. Cause I could've used it tonight. I didn't even realize. I don't even know why. I just bought up the body butter. I could've been using the freaking soap already too. And then this is the orange and honey one. It smells so good. This smells so clean. Like this gonna get me squeaky clean, honey. All of her products are organic and they only use recyclable materials to package. I love that. The two that she sent me are perfect for sensitive dry skin. I love that. I get super dry in the wintertime. Um, and y'all can check her out. I'm gonna leave all of her links down below so y'all can go shop a black owned business. Thank you so much, Victoria. I really appreciate you. Um, and I cannot wait to use this soap, but I've been using the body butter and Girl, I love it. Girl, did y'all hear about them burning down the freaking Target? Listen, let me tell y'all something. They, when they had those riots, I don't remember when it was, but they had them riots or whatever, and they was like breaking into like all the stores and like Buckhead, and they were like breaking into the like the uh, the, the freaking um the, the Louis Vuitton store over in the Buckhead shops. And I remember this was before I even moved over to this area, and I remember them saying like the Target got burnt down. I'm just like, dang, what Target do? Like what Target do? Whatever. They not the year coming to the end of the first year that I moved here they opened back up. It took them so long to open the freaking place back up. So I've been here for two years. This year is, this year would make, come, come in, this year, and I think like September would make it three years. It's only been open for like a year and a half, y'all. They literally only been open for a year and a half after getting burnt down, beat up. The last time, Girl, they burnt them down again. There's a Target in Buckhead. Like, I'm in Buckhead, but, like, I'm a little further down. I'm, like, South Buckhead-ish. They have an actual Target in, like, the Lenox area of Buckhead. Like, where all the, all the, all the, the real, you know what I'm saying, be at. When I tell y'all, like, it's, like, you're going to see every Instagram influencer, every model, every celebrity you could possibly think of in there i mean niggas galore like you ever see the girls on tiktok that be like in fucking target like shopping trying to find them a man they be having heels on and shit no shade to you sis get you your man but honey sometimes i don't want to be put on a fashion show to go to target some time when i go to target i just be in target trying to get my stuff and go back home the one over here was super low-key they had everything they had everything literally people would be like oh my god i love coming to the target by your house because they got everything i know show tell nobody and y'all go and burn it down like fight me like i'm really mad about it i'm really mad about it and y'all lucky i'm moving but that ain't the fucking point new book alert y'all want me to read the cover i don't want to read the cover so 
no but what you can do is click the link down below y'all can go read it yourselves and it's super cute i'm into rom-coms i'm a hope it's romantic blame disney channel let me know if y'all get the book let me know if y'all want to read it with me um i'm gonna start monday so y'all let me know um yeah i can't wait okay this is the book i'll link her down below as well okay okay i got my wine i'm about to heat up my food light my hookah and watch pretty little liars and um yeah thank y'all so much for watching this vlog i love y'all and i will see y'all in my next video